So here's something I'd like to do for you. I, I, I love your energy. We just met, but it seemed like I've known you for forever up in here, up in here. I can hear your footsteps. I know you're coming for me, but I'm not scared, all right? <laughs> I'm going to give you a set of motivational messages that I'd like for you to email to all of your agents called Choosing Your Future. Choosing Your Future. It's possible. It's necessary. It's you. It's hard. It's worth it. It's done. I guarantee you the number will grow. If they listen to it every day, I guarantee you, you don't achieve in life what you want. You 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 in, achieve in life what you are. I used to work for the Miami Sanitation Department. I used to work and earn around $60,000 a year. Now I earn $70,000 an hour. Still the same person, but my mindset, that's what's different. And so in, in this space, with the coronavirus, with the disruption that's taking place, that's that's just devastating lives, this is the place that the insurance companies are going to be just incredible. The, 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 the agents who have a larger vision of themselves, the agents that have a mindset mm. of serving the greatest among you will be your servant. The agents that are on a mission, mission possible, helping people to protect themselves, their investment, their families. The agents who have a larger vision of themselves who said, you know what? This is not going to be like it has been for me in the past. I'm not coming into 2021 with a 2020 mindset. Mm -hmm. No, I'm ready to take it to the next level. The, the Einstein said, the thinking that has brought me this far has created some problems that this thinking can't solve. This is a time that everybody, if you're serious, you have to mind, you have to have the mindset that you're hungry. Hungry people believe that you have to be relentless. Hungry people believe that you have to continuously to grow. Hungry people believe, always strive to get on top in life because it's the bottom that's overcrowded. Hungry people have this mindset of take no prisoners and eat the wounded. Mm. Mm. No, don't you mess with me. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, behave. Hello, whatever. <laughs> Got to be hungry, man. That's this right. It's in the time where we are, the place that late Peter Drucker calls the era of the three C's, accelerated change, overwhelming complexity, and tremendous competition. And many times, you don't know how strong you are until you have to be strong. Uh, I like Lion King. Simba, you're more than that which you have become. At 92%, they are more than that which they have produced. And this is a new place where they have to know it's possible that they can do more. And it's yeah. necessary that they raise the par bar on themselves and they focus and they have to be a non-negotiable person, a no-nonsense person, and, and, and dig deep and do what's necessary, looking for ways to win, to improve, to expand, and to serve the customers that are out there waiting for them and have a sense of mission. If you're casual about your dream, your dream will become a casualty. Mm. No, because everybody's out there now that want to make it. And the ones who will break through, the ones who are going to do exceptionally well at 8%, they're hungry. Right. All of us at the end of the day are the same. This world is full of people with broken hearts, empty pockets, and failures. And so as we look at ourselves, we, we have these disruptions. We have to, to accommodate them with our transformation. And then we have choices. Choose ye this day whom ye shall serve. Robert Frost, two roads diverge in a yellow wood, and I, I selected the one less traveled by. My favorite book says, the road that you travel, it's narrow. Why? Because most people are living a misplaced life. Herein my Father glorified that ye bear much fruit, 
we are supposed to be productive. That's why we're here. We were chosen out of 400 million sperm. God had a lot of choices up in here, up in here. We were chosen to produce. And, and so most people, they, they are just going through life casually, not taking into account that we have an expiration date. We are supposed to be top performers. An alligator can't be anything but an alligator. A tree can't be anything but a tree. But you and I, we could always transform ourselves. And so this is a time of transformation. At the end of the day, what separates us all are the choices that we make. Yes. You talk about time management. You can't manage time. All you can do is manage yourself. The mm -hmm. choices that you make, the effort that you put on taking your performance to the next level, the focus, the discipline where focus goes, energy flows, and productivity increases dramatically. But if you allow yourself to be distracted, I don't answer a telephone call unless it's positive unless it's purposeful, mm. unless it's productive, or unless it's profitable. Why? I don't have time for that. So good. No. I've got customers that I have to take care of. I, I have my, my, my physical needs to take care of, my spiritual needs, I, my family needs. I, I have 15 grandchildren and wow. five great-grandsons. And oh. so I'm... All of us are here, I strongly believe, to live a life that will outlive us. Mm. That's why we're here. Horace Mann said we should be ashamed to die until we've made some major contribution to humankind. And so when you have a mindset that you're not just an agent, you are a messenger of hope. You, you're, you're giving people some options on how to protect themselves from this thing called life. And it's better to have a strategy and protection and not need it than to need it and not have it. That's good. Yes. And there's no saying you can take a horse through the water, but you can't make him drink. However, if you have the mindset and you have effective communication skills, you can create the thirst where they want to drink, where they want to do business with you. And people can smell commission breath. This yes. is the time you want to build relationship capital. So people good. want to know, do you care about me? When you present, whatever you're presenting, they're asking three questions. Who are you? What do you have? And why should I care? Wow. And so... When you answer that succinctly and you, you, you answer in a way speaking from your heart to create trust and confidence and to demonstrate competency that I'm the one, I'm the one that you need to help you make some decisions that will be in your best interest and your family's interests. Because I have your interests. Zig Ziglar said, people don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. And so in creating that relationship, that's major today. That's major, more important, relationship capital, because that will increase your referral business and your income. If you love this video, you know I got another one that you're gonna love. I got a video just to your right, right here. Click on that, it's gonna be amazing. You're gonna love it, and I'll see you in there. We're about to show you another behind the scenes clip of the Rising Star Training Program. And on this clip, okay, we're, we're about to talk to my business partner, Landon McCarter, about the number 